not doing what we needed to do. Um, we went over a lot of things in practice that we just mentally slipped up on, just a lack of execution on offensive and defense. Um, that's all just, you know, just not mentally focused on what we needed to do. I think there was a lack of talk on defense, and that just got us mixed up a lot um, on back screens, uh, double stagger screens, all that. Didn't talk those through, and so they got some open looks that way. Um, first half, we had a tough time knocking down shots, um, and that's always going to hurt. Yeah, I think the second half was better. Um, we got the ball inside more, which allowed scoring inside as well as to kick back out for better shots on the outside. Um, and that we just didn't do that in the first half, and that's why we the score was what it was in the first half, and we did a lot better in the second half, and it, it worked for the most part. I mean, I feel the same. I feel I feel like we did a lot better as far as execution in the second half. Um, we did a lot of things that we should have done in the first half. Like she said, as far as getting the ball inside, um, first half we took a lot of unnecessary threes. What we should have been doing was getting the ball inside or at least penetrating the zone to kick the ball out and get better looks. But um, I feel like we did a much better job in the second half. I mean, it's not ideal, um, but can't let it bother it you can't let it bother you. You gotta keep supporting your teammates <coughs> and uh doing what you can to contribute um when you're out. We gotta treat it at like any other game and just prepare the best we can um with the time we have and just come ready to fight and give it our all and just keep improving. Yeah, one thing that Coach always tells us is that we need to bounce back. And so I think, you know, after this game, we go in and practice tomorrow, and the only thing we can do is just work, you know, prepare for the next game. What they said, we didn't get the ball inside in the first half at all. And uh, that really hurt us. I mean, it's not like it wasn't discussed. It wasn't – I don't I, – it just seemed like we needed the halftime break to understand, can't sit out in a three-point line. You know, it's different if you're knocking all those down, but those were some – we're taking some pretty deep threes. And uh, – you know, we just talked about tempo, talked about moving the ball, getting it inside out. Doesn't mean it has to stick inside, but just didn't, we just did not get the ball inside until the second, the third and fourth quarter. You know, uh, keep preaching it, keep talking about it. I mean, it happened in, in the matter of this halftime to talk about it and try to create where their looks are. I mean, it did hurt when Alex is out of the game. Um, and so I don't know if that is impactful, but. It still has to be an inside-out approach, but you know our tempo was so slow too. I mean, you know Northwestern's a big team, and you start playing. They, they've zoned because they go, you know, six two, six two, six something. That's big, and so if you just have to play into that every single time, it's kind of tough. So when we started, I was just like tempo, get by, and make them play defense early, and that helped the second half. But the first half, our tempo was really slow. Well, yeah, they, yeah, and they they did, and they did a good job of you know. Um, we knew they were running a bunch of back screens. I mean, that was a little frustrating, and that's what they're referring to is that we have to we have to do much better team team talking uh, what's, when it's active because you can go zone, and that's not bad. But it's you know, as you saw at the end, when we get up and play our defense, which is much more aggressive, that's how we were supposed to be for 40, and we just showed it when we got behind and that kind of panic feeling. Um, trying to instill that for 40 minutes is where we're trying to get to. I mean, the other, the other big thing is we're not getting to the free throw line. We're not being aggressive. That's partially not getting the ball inside. And the other thing is just not taking the ball off the bounce at all. I hope they're frustrated. We don't like losing. I mean, that's, I mean I'm frustrated. They should be fr we, I mean, we just got beat. Um, but it's how you handle your frustration, and that's what they just said. I mean, what do we have a choice? You know, we got you know, the whole Big Ten schedule ahead of us. And all we can do right now is try to get better and fight back the next day. And so... I think being disappointed and frustrated is, gosh darn, that's how we should be right now. No, I mean, obviously, they are I mean, they had a down year last year, and they're not having one this year. I mean, they got players back. You know, Coach Stringer's obviously a great coach, and what they do, you know, they, they know what they're going to do, uh, and they buy into that, too, you know, really well. So we just got to, you know, go to work tomorrow and get some stuff done. A long time ago, I mean, I, I haven't coached against him. I mean, I know he's a classy guy. Well, I mean, I think that until you, you, you've been here and understand it, I mean, I was someone that sat and watched coaching changes at the Division One level before. And, um, you know, they're, the one thing I can do right now and the one thing we're going to do is we're going to keep competing and, and trying to get better every day. Um, but I'm with this team and I'm with these kids, and we're in this together. And uh, I think when we become real losers is when we stop. And that's all we can we can control right now is is 
hey, recognizing we did do some things well, but we got tomorrow. And that's how we're approaching this. But is it tough in the Big Ten? Is it tough in division? Yeah. Is every, it's competitive, and that's how it's going to be. Jalen, yeah, she'll be out for a bit of time. Um, I'm not, you know, exactly sure it was a knee injury. It's not, um, you know, something that's going to take, you know, four to four to six weeks. She, she, her basketball IQ is really good, and, and her um, ability to communicate and see the game is obviously something we're missing a little bit right now. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll look forward to having her back on the court. I mean, we all got to step up. I mean, they, I mean, I think. If these kids didn't take ownership to it, that's when we have a problem. Like, hey, we got to talk better. We got to do this. We got we, and you keep hearing we. Um, if we can stay there, then that's when you have a team that's trying to make progress. And when you start pointing, and that includes me, if I start pointing my finger at them, they have every right to point it at me. We're not. We're in this together. It was actually. I mean, you, I didn't even think it was a major injury. I just she kind of went ow, and it, it was uh, pretty significant. You know, uh, you know, when everybody ever said to you that your high school days was your best days or your college days were the best days of your life, you ever hear that? And I'm like, God, that's sad. I, if my days behind me are my best, what do I got to look forward to? So I'm looking at it like this way. We're looking forward to stuff. This is tough. I don't like losing. This is hard, but I'm looking at it as, every, as and I'm starting tomorrow. You know, it's and that's what we're going to do every time we're out. So um, we, we got fight in us and we'll keep going and so do I.